today I'd like to give you an idea for a sea themed party. A teal blue tablecloth, paper boats, fruit juices, and a tasty shell and a hermit crab bread. A soft bread dough filled with a delicious ham and cream cheese mousse. Don't worry, it's easier than you think. Let's get started. Start by making the bread dough. Take a bowl and add the flour, sifted flour. Dissolve the salt in the water. Make an indentation in the middle of the flour, then add the instant yeast. It does not need to be dissolved in water. The sugar, the milk and the oil. The diced softened butter. And lastly, the salted water. Now knead. Bring the dough together in the bowl, then transfer to a work surface. And knead until smooth. The dough is nice and smooth. Place in a bowl and cover with clean film. Allow to rise for at least a couple of hours. The turned off oven with the light on works well. Here's the risen dough. Turn it out onto a work surface and roll into ropes about 23 and a half inches long and half an inch thick. Like this. Wrap it around the comb mold. Tap the end of the strip under to prevent it from unrolling during baking. Now take two small pieces of dough and roll into bowls for the eyes of the hermit crab. Then take a larger piece of dough and roll into a rope about the same thickness and make the legs. Divide in two and slice lengthwise about halfway up. Take a parchment line baking tray, the beaten egg and assemble the hermit crab. Brush the dough. The egg wash not only gives a glossy finish, but it also helps the eyes and legs stick to the shell. Brush them with egg wash too. Then move on to the other shells. Use the same mold. Roll the dough into balls for the eyes. Brush with a beaten egg. And here's the shell. Stick the eyes. 
brush with a beaten egg. Then make the legs. Place them on the side to save room in the baking tray. Brush again. And repeat to make more shells and hermit crabs until the dough is used up. Now bake in a preheated steady oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Prepare the filling. Combine the cream cheese with the ham. As an alternative, you could use salami, mortadella, prosciutto, whatever you like best. A couple of basil leaves and blend with a stick blender. Done! Now put the mixture in a pastry bag. It's time to assemble. Take the hermit crab bread and fill with the ham mousse. Using a small round cookie cutter, about 3 quarters of an inch, cut out circles of ham for the tongs. Lovely, isn't it? As for the shells, you can do like this. Fill with the ham mousse. Then, stand them upright over the legs. And while I'm filling all the shells, let's do get the ingredients needed for this recipe. Ingredients for 12 pieces, half a stick of softened butter, one and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast, one heaping teaspoon of white sugar, half a cup of water, two and three quarter tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, half a tablespoon of salt, half a cup of milk, four cups of all-purpose flour. For the ham mousse, one and a quarter cups of cream cheese, three and a half ounces of ham, two basil leaves, one pinch of salt. For brushing and garnishing, one egg, one thick slice of ham. I told you it was easy. Involve your kids in the preparation of this cute shell and hermit crab bread. Wholesome and yummy, it makes a great party snack. Cook it yourself and let me know if you liked it.